If you're anything like me, ChatGPT has made you a lot more productive, but it probably also made you a lot lazier. What happens to me a lot is that whenever I realize there's a task I can do with ChatGPT, I just write the prompt and get out of the way. And by getting out of the way, what I mean is that I realize I have a few seconds that I can do whatever I want to until ChatGPT gets back to me. And I usually use it to check on all of my notifications, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, which usually leads to me realizing like 15 minutes later that I completely forgot about the task that I wanted to do. So today what I want to do is I want to fix that. And of course I'm not going to fix myself because that would be, that would be ridiculous. But instead I'm going to want to build like a technical helper that is going to guide me and is going to, you know, keep me on track. Every time ChatGPT is thinking or like generating tokens, still talking, whatever, you see this black dot on the screen, which I should be able to track, right? And then my browser extension is just going to check whether that black dot is still on the screen. And as soon as it disappears, I wanna bring the user back into that tab and maybe also play a sound as well to just signify that, um, that ChatGPT is done and then you can continue. So I ended up not tracking the black dot, but instead looked at the button that you press whenever you send off a prompt. Because what happens in the browser is that when you send off a prompt, that button gets destroyed and only reappears whenever ChatGPT was done generating. So the only thing I needed to do was write a function that checks every few milliseconds whether that button has reappeared. Holy shit, I forgot to set the milliseconds. <laughs> I forgot to set the milliseconds, but it work, it's working, okay? So that's why it ran 1,091 times. But now when I rerun it, it's gone because they actually destroy the button and then regenerate it as whole. So what I gotta do, so this works, this is nice. Okay, so I'm gonna need a notification sound. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that was accidental. Okay! <laughs> okay! Alright, that's it. So this was the thing that I underestimated the most. Like in my mind, I thought it would be one liner. I'm adding the audio file and then I just say like, okay, use that file, play it whenever ready. But the thing is that Chrome now switches to a new platform and on that platform, it just got incredibly difficult to play that sound. And I tried for quite some time, but I couldn't figure it out until I just said, fuck it. I'm gonna go to version two, get it working there, and then try to migrate from that. Okay, so let's just see whether this would work with manifest version two. Let's try this out. <laughs> That's it. Now the last thing I actually had to figure out was how to navigate back to the ChatGPT tab when it was done. And this was actually the trickiest part probably of this project because when you're writing a Chrome browser extension, you're basically handling multiple scripts and you have to make those communicate with each other to get this done. Otherwise you won't be able to, to move back to the tab you came from. So this took me a little while, but then I was ready for the final demo. I don't have a good feeling about this. Well, let's see. I'm sorry too. Okay! Yes! All right. So that, <laughs> that works. I'm gonna ask a longer question now. Can you tell me? Again, how to migrate from version two to version three. Thank you so much. 
So now, oh, I gotta switch tabs. It's running, and then when it's done, When it's done, nothing is happening. Okay! Oh no! Oh my god, it was, it, it was just that's. Oh my god, it wrote a fucking novel. Okay, one more time. One more time, but a bit more concise, please. 15 seconds is what that took. Okay, now. Now's the one. Okay! Fuck me. Okay, that's it. If you know how to migrate this, um. Tell me, I'll put the source code, the little bit of source code that I wrote, I'll put it in the description and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Is that camera even running?